Hey guys, and welcome to another Shoot Mania video brought to you by FPS General. This time we're going to take a look at the replay editor for Shoot Mania. The first thing you might want to do, if you haven't done this already, is you're going to go to Profile, Advanced, and make sure you have Save Automatically All Replays. That way you won't miss any of your good stuff when you're playing. Next thing you're going to do is come to Editor. You're going to go to Edit a Replay. Now, if you have everything set to autoplay, anything that you haven't saved manually will show up in here. So that's where you're going to look for everything. Otherwise, if you've saved something already like I have, just come down here, click it, hit edit, and you're good to go. Here we are in the editor, and you can see I've already made some changes to this replay. Uh, it doesn't look like this when you load up a replay normally. Um, what I've done is I've added a few cameras here. So I've got a uh, third person camera like this. I set that here and set the target with this. I then have a first person camera. Next I have a custom camera. It also has a target but it follows at a preset tracking. Now the first thing you'll see with this custom camera is I've got a point here where the camera wants to pass through a wall so uh, what I'm going to do to fix that is I'll insert a keyframe with that button there. That keyframe comes up here and now I have the ability to modify exactly where the camera sits at that keyframe. It'll be animated nicely between keyframes automatically. So let's go through the process of adding our own camera here. We'll add a custom camera. Now let's set a target. Now you'll notice I'm not able to set a target or change any of these options because I'm not on the keyframe. I have to select the keyframe and now these become available. I'll set my target. I'll go ahead and I'll move in to where I want to have the camera start at. So we'll track this guy. Come forward here. Set the target again at the final keyframe. right here. That right, gives me a nice smooth camera here. Since this is a little quick right here when it whips around, you might try adding another keyframe and adjusting where the camera sits at this point. So that's really all there is to it with the cameras. The First person camera is really easy. You just add a camera race. You set the player that you want to follow. You set the angle you want to follow from. Third person. Choose the player you want. And there you go. That's really all I got to show you guys. You should be able to make some really great stuff using just these tools. So I look forward to seeing what you guys create. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful, and if you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for future Shoot Mania content. If you have questions, head over to the FPSGeneral.com forums where I'd be happy to lend a hand. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at FPSGeneral, for all the latest. This is Small Kiwi for FPS General saying thanks for watching, guys.